What? I thought I'm the only one who uses rubber. Gumu Gumu! Pistol! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and today on our episode of Is It Worth Buying? We are going to break down whether Mirage Fafnir is worth buying. Well, what do you think? Hmm? Definitely, definitely worth buying because this is free La Hoya's Beyblade and Free de La Hoya is my favorite anime character in Beyblade Burst. It's just so cool. And so is this Beyblade. Yep. I'm telling you right now, before we analyze, buy this. <laughs> Not being biased, but yeah, let's break it down. So let's start with nothing. I mean, let's start with the nothing driver. It's really cool. I like the gimmick. The spring-loaded tip. Its shape is like um, survive, but thicker, fatter. I like the color as well. It's like yellowish, orange, gold. It passes for a gold for me. If you look at it like that, or really far. But yeah, it's okay. I like the driver, it's not competitive, but I like the effect that it does during battle when it, it, uh, the Mirage Fafnir gets hit, kind of bounces. I like it. Um, I like how Absorb looks better, how it looks better, but Absorb is kind of wild. Absorb break happens easier, and when I say... Um, when Absorb Break happens is that when you launch it, this, the, there's like teeth or grooves there and then it speeds out and it self-chaos. But with this one, Nothing Break is harder to achieve and it's also hard for me to do. But when I see other videos of Mirage Mafner getting launched at the beginning of the uh, fight, it moves around really fast and then stays in the middle. But me, I rarely get to make it do that. I don't know, probably with my copy of The Nothing Driver, it varies from copies. But I like it, it's fun to use. It's not competitive, it's it's not. I see this used on Rage Longiness just to maximize its upper attack. Um, since Rage Longiness is heavy, and then this will get pressed even more. It kind of lowers the double chassis of the 3A, which then makes it easier to scoop up the opponent, giving it the upper attack. But it makes your rage lines more stay on the middle of the uh, stadium. And the 2S strangler in shape, pretty pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Blitz. The Blitz is an attack type of um, disc. This is supposed to be a stamina one. Actually, this is good for attack. The shape of the triangle. Um, yeah, for me, this is good for attack. And it hits you like this. Although it's really smooth, it will slide down, slide up, slide off. Yeah, Blitz. It's nice. And it's pretty heavy. It's, I think this is as heavy as... Or heavier than 2A. And then next is 1A. It's... Um, it can be used for left and right spin rings. So yeah, more options. Pretty good. And this actually takes part with a gimmick of the Mirage. So I'll show you later. And look at that. I would have loved if they made it another dragon head here like in the GT Fafnir so that when you flip the chip there's it, it's the same like you know in 
cards where you flip the king and then there's another head and it's just like the same orientation but it's okay it's better than a dragon facing you like rage long I, I like this better than the dragon actually facing you it's thin and it's completely surrounded with rubber it's supposed to be a stamina ring as well because of the spin stealing, spin equalization, it's left spin. So yeah. It's mainly used for stamina. It is classified by Takara as a stamina Beyblade. But for me, I like to use this for attack. Why? Because of the rubber. It's not circular enough. To actually um, perform as good as master uh, the master ring of master diabolos that's really circular or even the wizard ring the wizard ring is very circular as well but this it's not this is gonna be good for an attack as well as the alignment of the three points you just have to find the proper um, driver for it and probably a heavier chip but me I would use this for attack see how compact this is um, that's just me but if you want to use it as stamina or they blade then it's okay it's up to you and then it's other mode is the oh this is the absorb mode and then this is the counter mode if you're gonna make this an attack type then this is how you do it exposing more points now it's got six. That's what I love about this. Um, this is the first uh, Super King Beyblade that actually gives you more options. I, I, don't get me wrong, King, uh, uh, King Helios also has a different mode. Brave Valkyrie has an unofficial second mode, which is the six blade mode. King Helios has the ten and the five blade mode, but there really isn't much difference in the performance. But with this, back then, Fafnir can only be good in battling right spin days but now it becomes an attack type Beyblade when battling left spin Beyblades it doesn't say that it's still a stamina type but I mean look it, it, it adds to the attack now it's it has six points that will hit its opponent plus the rubber I'm telling you do not make this stay in the middle use a driver that will that will help it um, KO or what um, do whatever damage to the opponent because it has rubber. There are only two. There are only two Beyblades that has rubber, and that's Brave Valkyrie and this one. And this has the most rubber when it comes to the ring, accounting to A. Yeah. So I will keep on testing this. This is my favorite Beyblade so far. Um. Because it gives you option. And then Spriggan's gonna come out, so yeah, I'm gonna be torn between them. And also, oh yeah, I forget, Tempest also gives us option. So yeah, big weights that gives you option are good. Remember, options are good. So yeah, pretty much um really cool Beyblade. It's fun to use and you can do the hand spin thing which will then also result to sometimes the low speed burst look at that how cool is that you go to your friend's house and battle them and then oh i didn't bring my launcher i'm just gonna hand spin it but their big blades are also less spin so that won't work you're gonna borrow their launcher but still it's cool i mean how many big blades can you do a hand spin launcher right that makes it super worth it. Now, let's give the verdict. Is Mirage Fafnir worth buying? If you're a collector, yes, because because why not? Hello, this is Mirage Fafnir. It is the final evolution of the Fafnir line. And if you are an anime fan, who doesn't like Shu? I mean free. Who doesn't like free? Eh. Get it. 
get this. It's worth buying if you're an anime fan. Now, if you are a competitor, this is not worth buying. It isn't. There are far more combos that can be used in competition that would give you a higher percentage of winning. So if you're looking for a sure win parts, there are other Beyblades in the GT line that's still better than this. If you have Master, you have Rage, if you have Tempest, and then if you're gonna have Spriggan, there's a lot more Beyblades you can use. So yeah, if you're looking for competitive parts, this may not be part of the priority unless you've come up with a good combo for the one, the 2S. Nope. But me personally, I'm gonna use this in competition. I don't care if this is an underrated Beyblade. I'm definitely gonna use this in this format. Just the 2D and the Mirage. I may even keep the cheap chip, just change the driver. Ask me, I like making combos that are not, you know, meta. And try to prove that they can be beaten. So yeah, that this could be one of those type of playblades. I like the small ones like, like Knockout Odin or Crash Ragnarok. Uh, for me, this is the Super King flag bearer of the small playblades. And if you um, are less privileged and do not have enough money to buy plenty of playblades, can only buy one and two. I'll be really torn with this again. It's because it's Fafnir and um, it's free Beyblade. If your budget is low and you plan on using or getting parts to use in your tournament, then this would have to be set aside. It's not worth buying. But if you're a fan, really a fan, get this. It's worth buying. Yep. So overall, it's really cool. It's, it's a must-have. But set your priorities straight. Um, if you can only afford to buy um, com certain bird Beyblades, like one or two, with the maximum use, this isn't this isn't it. Uh, again, Brave Valkyrie and Rage Longinus. Tempest Dragon if you have the money um, or just wait for the new Spriggan but this would have to wait if you do not have the budget for it. If you do then good get this right away. I'm recommending it. If you have the money get this. Get two of this. It's really nice. So that ends our episode for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you I hope I was able to help you budget your pay money and for all your baby Beyblade needs, just look at the description below. Again, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Bye. Keep safe.